Good evening, my brothers and my sisters. Welcome to the 20th anniversary Jubilee, a cultural and literary arts experience at Megar Evers College. Tonight, we celebrate Black authors, poets, scholars, and their impact on African American culture. When I think of Megar Evers College, I think always of John Oliver Killens and Dr. Brenda Green, and how appropriate that Sister Brenda's last name is Green, because all that she touches springs forth in a green refrain of intellect and beauty and her three history. So tonight, we have come to this very important site to honor, applaud the mission of the Center for Black Literature as it continues the progress of the National Black Writers Conference, founded by John Oliver Killens in 1986 at Magyar Evers College. We are here also to honor two young people who are receiving a prestigious award, brother, Troy Johnson, the founder of African American Literature Book Club and Cheryl Willis, broadcast journalist and author. We applaud them as they move in their circle of beauty, intellect and history and history. We have with us tonight also distinguished honorary committee members, Dr. Greg Carr, Sister Edgewood Stanticott, Sister Karen Hunter, Sister Nicole Hannah Jones, Brother Talib Kwali, and Dr. Cornell West. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, my brothers and my sisters. We welcome your genius and intellect and love on this marvelous journey tonight. This celebration of our history, history goes on, that life doesn't end, that we you and I, my dear brothers and sisters, are remembered, are studied, or applauded, and endure like the earth. So I say to you tonight, my brothers and my sisters, this is a long journey, calling all women, men, children, students, calling all oceans, skies, clouds, trees. This is a journey of history and history of a people walking, studying their history and history. No wars allowed, no greed allowed, no jealousy allowed, no bullying allowed, no gossip allowed, no homophobia allowed, no racism allowed. Out, just the slow, quick smell of success sliding from our tongues, our hands, our eyes, our families calling all women and men, women and men, people of color to this journey of words, literature, universities, homes where men and women stopped genuflecting skeletons. Tony Morrison said, we die. That may be the meaning of life, but we do language. That may be the measure of our lives. And my brothers and my sisters, how we do this thing called language, how we anoint your eyes with surprise and beauty as we bring all into our flush of rain and laughter called beauty, history, history, blackness, our sacred language. So come. Come, 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 come. Let us flush the world's flush with our words tonight and live. Mm -hmm. Thank you and welcome. <laughs> 